friends i will talk about the impact test today the impact test is of two types that is iso test and second one is your hrp test so in iso test what happens uh, the position of nodes in the uh, and the fixing of sample are different than the hrp test so in iso test uh, you can see from the figure that a node is made from 28 mm from the right hand end and this part is kept vertically when we fix the sample in the sample holder so before actually pressing the sample we have to lift the hammer Uh, to the end point as shown in figure uh, <coughs> and we have to latch it so then we have to open the clamping screw and place specimen vertically in the center of the specimen holder with the nose that should face towards the hammer and also it is to be ensured that the center of the nose must be in line with the specimen holder keep the specimen in such a way that top of it so project 28 mm above the specimen holder so we can release the hammer from this position so that it will hit it and the sample will break and you can see this is the end of the swing okay so if the sample is not there then it will have a full swing but as the sample specimen break it absorbs some energy which is the indication of the fracture toughness of that particular material so in hrp test you can see that the notch is exactly at the center and the main difference is that the sample specimen is kept horizontal instead of vertical as we have seen in i your test all uh, right so here also you see that the notch is facing away from the hammer and the procedure is same we have to release the hammer from this position it will hit uh, the sample specimen and it will break it so uh in the last thing what are the precautions we have to take in order to carry out a successful test so first the sample should be proper dimension is according to the astm standard you have to make the sample and check that it is in those particular dimensions then before doing the experiment these ensure that samples are properly fixed in the specimen holder and the most important thing that while conducting the experiment you should not uh, stand in the front or back of the swinging hammer because it may hit you and it can injure you so better to keep a safe distance from the hammer so this is all about impact test thank you